SpaceX CEO Elon Musk is making headlines for announcing that he's looking for employees for his company, but that he doesn't necessarily care if they have university educations. Now, his appeal begs the question as to whether or not college degrees are even necessary in today's workforce. And joining us with an alternative form of education is Doron Alonson, the general manager of Jolt IL. All right, so your company has just raised $14 million to establish an alternative academic program. First of all, why do you think that the way education is structured today needs to change? Well, you know, there is a high education bubble. I mean, we're talking about a $2.3 trillion industry in which 80% of its students, the users, actually state that they don't believe in it. Right. So, you know, this is not new. We know for many years that That's there is a, an issue with higher education, with uh, formal, formal education. But the thing is that recently we've seen more and more employers, such as Elon Musk, state that themselves. So, right. you know, uh, employers like IBM and Google now they say is that, that college degree is no longer a prerequisite to get a job. Yeah, and when you hear something like that, you start thinking about all the college loans you had to take out for when you exactly. were paying for your $60,000 education in the United States, right? So, so let's talk a little bit about Jolt and what you guys do. What is this alternative approach that you've created? Right. So Jolt is a new kind of business school. I mean, instead of stopping your life for one year or two years and spend so much money like a traditional idea, NBA rec uh, requires you to do, right. In Jolt, you can actually choose which skills you'd like to acquire to give you a competitive advantage in business today. So we've actually opened many mini campuses in co-working places around the cities, inside Tel Aviv, London, and now in the US as well, in which students can gather around and get live stream sessions from professional experts from top companies from around the world. Now, these experts are, are not professors. They're not professors, but rather they're professionals who've been working during the day mm -hmm. as executive, as managers inside those companies, and then teach them exactly what they do. So would this be a replacement for an MBA specifically, or, or would it be for just education as a whole? Well, right now, we, we have six months ago, we have launched our NAMBA program, which is not an MBA. We're not regulated by any government. Mm -hmm. We're not uh, obligated to any old last century curriculum, but rather we've gathered around top experts, alumni of the best MBA programs on the planet, such as you know, uh, uh, graduates of Stanford, Harvard Business School, SCAD, uh, NCAD, yeah. LBS, and so on. And we've asked them to build the curriculum, stating what do you want to see uh, you know, uh, working as executive in companies today? What would right. you like to see candidates have? Which skills should they have? Well, I'm just thinking about the things that you gain when you're in a four-year institution. You know, you, it can be very competitive. You're required to, to meet deadlines. The pressure of that experience can also be very formative in a certain sense because you have to learn discipline. Right. Do you necessarily have that in a program like this? Because it seems that you just get to pick and choose what you want and what you feel yeah. like, and you don't necessarily yeah. have to finish, yeah. right? So formal education does play a role, and it's important. But we see nowadays that it's not enough in order to get into the workforce, mm -hmm. okay? And the employers are stating that themselves. You can see that there are different trends that weren't around centuries ago. You right. can see now that people replace job every one or two years. If that's, that's the case, true. they need to reskill, they need to upskill. So going and stopping your life for three or four years and then hoping that would be uh, sufficient for the next 20 years, and it doesn't work that way anymore. People want to keep on learning yeah. and evolving. Okay, so that's why we need to actually break it down. That's why you need to have lifelong learning. That's why you want to have stackable learning. And yeah. that's what we do in Jolt. Well, I think and the idea is for people to remember that you don't necessarily need a multiple year degree to learn, right? There are other ways in which you can do that. Exactly. Uh, very interesting. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me here.